Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this GIMP tutorial I'd like to show you how you can make a decent sprite sheet using GIMP. Um, so it'll turn out something like you see here, though when we recreate it, I think I'm actually going to do it um, twice as wide as it is tall, still 32 pixels by 32 pixels, because of the way it fits into tiled. Um, seems like a wider one fits here more appropriately. So anyway, to get started with this, you got to go up to New and create a new uh, GIMP document, obviously. So here I'm going to set the width to 640. You want it to be a um, multiple of the size of your sprite tile. So if you're going to be doing 32 pixel sprites, make sure that it's some multiple of 32. So that could be 320, 640. Um, whatever, as long as it fits into uh, that multiple. Um, same would apply to 16, same would apply to even 128 pixel sprites. Once you've gone ahead and done that, um, regardless of what your background or foreground color is, probably you're going to just want to delete that layer. So let's create a new layer and make sure it's set to transparent. And then go over to Filters, Render, and under Pattern, there's going to be one called Checkerboard. Now when you click that, it's going to default the size to 10 pixels unless you've been in here before. You're going to want to change that to your actual uh, sprite pixel size so that each square represents uh, one sprite or one sprite square at least. You can of course have two square, four square sprites. And it's going to be using your foreground and your background color. Um, so in order for your colors to change to whatever you want, you could just use white and black. Just go ahead and change your foreground and background colors with the color selectors over here, and then go reapply the same tool. But um, with that, as long as your size is set to 32 pixels or whatever multiple you're working with, you can hit OK, and it's going to create a perfectly sized sprite sheet for you, or at least the background for you to work with. Um, now from there, there's a couple more things you can do. Firstly, if you go over to Image and Configure Grid, you can set up a grid including width and height and foreground color and background color. Now what this grid is going to be are lines that just draw across, uh, but I believe do not show in the final GIMP export. Once you've gone ahead and figured out your settings there, hit OK, go up to View, and hit Show Grid. Now that's going to basically apply these black lines. You can choose dashed lines if you prefer. And this is just another um, layer of helping you separate your, uh, your sprites from each other. It's kind of hard to go over a black line that's just drawn there or a dashed line or whatever you have. Now uh, one more thing I should say is that definitely put your sprites on a completely separate layer. And as you're drawing them, Let's say I just go grab like a white here or something and make it a hard pixel brush. So I'm actually going to set it to pixel size 1. That's usually what you want when you're doing pixel art. And you can start drawing in your sprites. As long as they're on a separate layer, you can still isolate them completely from the background. But what you should keep, uh, keep note of is that as you're drawing them, uh, or when you're done drawing them rather, Make sure you turn off your background layer or your uh, basically your tiled checkerboard grid layer, whatever you're calling it, uh, so that that's not included in the export. So when you're done, you can just kind of export that to the desktop as any other PNG. So I'm going to open up this new sprite sheet or tile set we created by using tiled as a program. So I'm going to open up that untitled. Hit OK, make sure that the tile, tile width and the tile height are set to 32 pixels. And we can go over here. Uh, you can't really see much going on there because the background is white and the sprites we selected are white. But if you look really closely, you should be able to see that we have these selectable squares. And on some of them, we have some random numbers that I drew. So we could technically take these tiles I've created and put them inside of a tiled map editor if I created... Uh, different squares or different sprites uh, for different animations like a walk animation for a character you would just have one in each square here and then you would uh, load those all up into unity or whatever you happen to be using and be good to go so that's the basics of how you would create a pretty good sprite sheet inside of GIMP using the checkerboard tool and also using the grid for extra help 
I've been Chris. I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in my future videos.